Welcome to Innovative WordPress. Today we are going to see how to create variation swatches for your WooCommerce store build with Elementor. Elementor is a WordPress website builder. You can make e-commerce sites using Elementor with WooCommerce. As you can see on the screen, Elementor allows you to create these types of pages with WooCommerce. You can make variable products here, but you cannot customize them further. If you want to transform this into more customer-friendly page then follow along this tutorial. I will show how to customize them in both free and paid versions of Elementor. Here is the plugin that solves this issue. Our WooCommerce Variation Swatches plugin allows you to add two core functions into WooCommerce. First is additional gallery images and second is variation swatches. As you can see in the screen there are major differences between default and customized product page. This is a complete tutorial on Elementor, if you want to know more about this plugin and its functions then follow the link appearing on the screen right now. Now let's get on to the customization. First we will use Elementor's free version. You can see that free version of Elementor helps you create a page like this. Both color and size variations are not user friendly. It is not possible to show colors in dropdowns. Also gallery images are not changing on selection. Now let's activate our plugin on dashboard and do a quick setup. You will get the plugin from Code Canyon which you can upload in your dashboard. I am activating it here. After that all of the default dropdowns related to color and images will be automatically converted into designer variation swatches. As you can see in the screen it is working well. We are testing this environment in Astra theme, but you can use any theme you have. This plugin is compatible with almost every themes that works with WooCommerce. Now, let's add additional gallery images for the product. In the product editor, I have to select the variation that I want to edit and add the images on the tabs below the variation image. And that's it. After saving this, you can see that gallery images are changing as well. There are tons of additional features that you can do. You'll see them later in the video. For now, let's see how to create this with Elementor Pro. As you can see in the screen, in Elementor Pro you have this add to card element that handles the variation swatches of product. If you drop that element onto the page then it will show the basic dropdowns. Now let's activate the plugin on this dashboard. It will override the default style sheet of WooCommerce. Now if you try to drop the add to card element then it will show the customized swatches. Also you have to add the additional gallery images to change the gallery. You can do this with any theme that you have. It will work perfectly with Elementor and WooCommerce. It offers out-of-the-box features, which makes it way more advanced than others. All features of the plugin work with both versions of Elementor, whether you are using the free or pro. Let's see some of the features of the plugin, but before that please subscribe to this channel, we will be posting more and more videos about how to customize Elementor with WooCommerce. If you have not used Code Canyon before, then follow the second link in the description and create your account first. After that you can follow the first link given in the description to see the plugin page. Now let's look at some of the features from the plugin. First, Archives Page Swatches. You can add variation swatches on Archives pages of WooCommerce. If you are not aware of Archives page term then Search Result Pages, Store Page, and Product Catalog Page are considered as archives. You can show different types of swatches as well. You can show color, text, image, and drop-down swatches in Archives page as you can see in the screen. Second, Stock Information. If you manage the stocks of the product in store then you can allow your users to see how many products are available in the store. As you can see in the screen, stock information is appearing on selection of specific variations. You can customize this information tag with simple CSS changes. Third, shareable links. If you run product campaigns and run Facebook ads for your products then you can use this feature to share the links of a specific variation of the product. Then we have other features like tooltips, attribute names, gallery controls and much more. You can check our overview video of the pro version. If you are interested in this plugin then check out the playlist of this plugin. 
you will find all the information about updates and new features there.